Hello everybody, welcome to the, uh, what's it called, Champs Ladder, no it's not Champs Ladder, fucking hell, it's not the Champs Ladder at all, it's the Cross Platform Cup, it's not actually Cross Platform, um, but this is one of the better PS4 players, um, versus me, who, who is one of the best, uh, just players in the world, really, at Blood Bowl, probably, Probably the best player in the world to have ever played Blood Bowl at any point in history, I'd say I was. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm representing PC. Just a joke, nobody get their panties in a bunch. I was just just making a little, just having some fun there, you know? <laughs> uh, thanks, Jellio. So... This is a pretty, pretty, it's got a scary team. I don't want him to tackle upon me. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. If I go back one, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. So I think I put these in the middle. Um, just out of fear, really. And yeah, so if we have a look at the team, I, I, do you know what, I think I'll do it. I, I don't think this will go on YouTube, actually, because I think for the YouTube, I'll do the replay analysis. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this will go on YouTube or not. But, you know, I've got some good players. Tackle Mighty Blow, Tackle Strip, Card. Um, Blodge, Rodge, Leader. He's got he's got outrageously scary team. With uh, two Poms, one with Tackle, one with Guard. Two Mighty Blow, Block Guard guys. Uh, that are slow though, at least. So at least I can run away from them, hopefully. Block Guard, Wrestle Tackle, Block Shoe Hands. He's got a naked ghoul, hopefully I can get him with mighty blow tackle. Two reserves, so really he's got he's got a lot of inevitability going to overtime, hasn't he? So really, I'm under pressure to win in normal time. The series stands 2-0 to PC, so if I win, PC are the champs. Um, if I lose, I've still got the possibility of uh, Hippie to, bl to bail me out. And if Hippie loses, then we'll have to have, we'll have to resolve the issue between Calcium and World Sitar, where Calcium disconnected, um, thus that game is undecided. And uh, what I'd like is, I would like, um, you know, PC to have won before that, so that however it's resolved, no one cares. <laughs> you know, like, obviously Calcium and World Sitar will still care because it's their time, but do you know what I mean? It won't, hopefully it just won't, the result won't really matter to the standings, if you like. And then it's just up to Calcium and World to as to how they want to spend their time, isn't it, really, is the, is all it is. So hopefully that's uh, hopefully that's what it is. Hopefully we can get the series wrapped up. Try it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is, it is a fear trident, is what this is. And this is just literally a fear trident, because He's got, you know, he could GFI twice and uh, and get me. Do you know what? My toe was looking really good the other day, and uh, yes, the other day, yeah, the, yesterday, my toe was looking really good, and then today, the uh, the step has come on. There's a lot of pus and it's uh, rather, rather disturbing that it's been so long since I got it done. Two block mummies is, is certainly allowed, yeah, it was, it's part of the, uh, the rule set that we went, uh, do you know what, do you know what, Crumsley, it's, it's a shame because uh, I came up with the idea while playing GTA that what I should have done was I should have done a video explaining the format and uh, and then I could just link to that rather than just explaining it over and over again but um, yeah it's like custom teams res 1500 TV with a skill package which includes three doubles which you couldn't choose to not use so um, he went with I just think he went with only two no he went with Block on the two mummies and guard on a ghoul. I went mighty blow on a on a war dancer. 
and uh, guard on two catches. But yeah, I'll I'll I'll, get, I'll do that video and then uh, yeah, and, and yeah, I got what you were saying. Yeah, Crumsley, it is pretty disgusting, isn't it? It is pretty disgusting, and uh, this is likely to be a horrible match for me. At least I can dodge away from the mummy, so hopefully the mummies aren't too much of a factor. But um, yeah, you know he's going to fucking pile on every turn, and it's going to be hard, isn't it? I don't know. I like I like that that stuff like tackle pom was allowed in the format. And uh... <laughs> no, I'd, I've disconnected. If, I think twice I've genuinely disconnected on uh, on PC, but both times I was able to uh, to get back, and that was just because the internet went down in England. It's never gone down in Germany at all, so that's that's good, isn't it? One time I finished streaming and the internet went down. How crazy is that? I was, like, about a minute after I finished streaming, the internet went down. I was like, fucking hell, that was, uh, that was pretty lucky. Like, went down for ages. Hmm. Very interesting. It's a shame that I can't foul, isn't it? I mean, maybe I could. T Tackle Pom is going to do. Like, the Dark Elf fouled and Calcium hated it. Other people defended it. I think you can't blame him because it's so terrifying. You know, you want to foul fucking Tackle Pom or Claw Pom or whatever every chance you get, don't you? Just because it is, you know, how many casts is it going to score if you don't foul it? But then on the other hand, you can foul it and nothing can happen. Oh, passed to the pass to him. Yeah, that, that's definitely a good idea, Maggie Arcan. Yeah, um, it's just literally with like doing stuff with, with going to Germany and everything. Oh god, he gets the foul. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. Hmm, it's a bit too much, isn't it? But it can put loads of pressure on. So, that is, without any doubt, the play. Yeah. I, I, on one hand, it's a bit shit, isn't it? But then, on the other hand, you can see, I can see why he would want to do that. Hmm. He's got to go last, hasn't he? I can hope to base, base, base with the catches. I mean, that seems fucking stupid but it's something I could do he doesn't have frenzy does he well I'm exposing the catches obviously the uh, do you know what I think I assisted wrong there he can dodge out actually to, 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 to block him I don't have that many players do I Right, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And somebody up there, don't you?
Right. And I think the other guy wants to go around this side as well, doesn't he? Who does he blitz? He blitzes him and then there's still a screen. Blitzes him and he's down a bad way. Blitzes him and goes around there. There's not a screen, is there, if he does that? No, blitzing him and he's the weak link. So actually, I probably need to reinforce that. Oh, how unlucky can you get? <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake. Do you know what? And it's not even that unlucky. It's not even that unlucky because I should have I should have based the the white with him. No, oh, you scream, but you can hit my leader. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled it. Fuck's sake! But, uh, but then looking at it, if he blitzes him, he can't blitz him because there's a there's a screen. Greed so really, Greed I shouldn't have been right. scared because he can only blitz him, and then what Greed do you do with the ball? Works. So actually, I probably shouldn't have even rerolled the dodge. But obviously, still unlucky to one in six, and then unlucky to one in thirty-six. But you know, I would just say misplay. Not assisting with that guy. Hello, Sam David. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess he's going to go around that side, isn't he? That was the problem with this 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 catcher. Maybe I should have put the catcher there. Yeah, maybe I should have put this catcher here. Because he's still going to he's going to just be able to blitz him and, and rejoin, isn't he? Oh, he got an extra reroll though, so... Yeah, I guess what I should have done was... Put the guard there. Yeah, I don't like that reroll. I don't think he had to get the knockdown, did he? I don't think he had to get the knockdown at all. Oh, he wanted to get the... He wanted to get the mummies in. He wanted a base. Herp derp, base, base, base. Hooped up, please, please, please. Hooped up, please, please, please. Well, this is a pretty huge foul that he's going to do now, isn't it? Because if he doesn't break armour, he's getting uphill by wrestle, he could just lose it straight up. I mean, I could just uphill, uphill block to get a push, couldn't I? And then one dice. In fact, uphill push to get a uphill block to get a push, and then two dice because I could chain him. Chain push the carrier into guarders, yeah. And then also chain push the uh, the white out, the mummy out. But yeah, it depends what the foul is, doesn't it, really? Risky. Yeah, one dicing him to push him to there. And push him away. And then I've got a two, three. I've still only got a one dice in the ball. Could push him to there and then two dice him. Yeah, I, I actually do like Jelly Deal's play of, uh, of this. Right. 
three, four. Oh, I should have stood him up. Bad play. Could have done with a power there, couldn't I? Yeah. Uphill. Hmm. <laughs> Could I have re-rolled that, maybe? Just being a one dice though anyway, wouldn't it, actually? Maybe he's, maybe he's pushing him in there, it wasn't so good. Maybe I should have gone for the chain. I could have chained, I could have put people there, and I could have chained him out, and it would have been a one dice. Only had the, he had this guy here. Hmm, don't know. Maybe I should have pushed the what, mummy to here and then chained him that way. I don't think that would have helped. Or well, chained him out, but then a push was no good. I needed a power. But I think I probably should have done. I think I probably should have pushed the mummy to here and then put in a guy there and then chained him that, but I needed a power really. Couldn't you put the guard where the thrower is now, then who blocks Sam Davies? <laughs> Oh, you mean put the guard there? No, because that was where that was where the mummy was. So I couldn't have done. I guess I could have not followed, and then I could have put him there and then done that. Yeah, okay. So I could have got a one dice. But then the, where's the recovery? Then there's no recovery at all. I guess I could have not stood him up later. To like, I wanted the warden to have the recovery. So. I don't really want to uphill him, but might as well. Two, three, four, you can get an assist there to hit me. But then he's not blitzing around the ball. I think he's probably he's in a bit of a pickle himself, isn't he, to be fair. Let's see what he does. Yeah. Yeah, I needed the assist though, I needed the assist to hit the mummy. Who was there, so no the the guard had to be there really. That was a pretty pretty tricky turn. No, oh, yeah, it's not tricky for him at all, he just he just chains him out. Guess I shouldn't have stood him up, eh? Blah. Mind if the tree had stood up, he'd been in a lot more You'd have been in a lot more trouble if the tree had stood up or if I'd powered the go the mummy. Huge non power reading on the mummy. Oh god, he's getting some fucking digs in this turn, isn't he? I guess he actually does just pile on this dancer now. Yeah, he's already tagged him. The good thing, at least, the uh, mummies are taken up for this turn, so he's not going to have guard around the cage. So I probably can leap in one dice in. Seems fucking horrible. So leap leap one dice is the play now, isn't it? Let's see what happens. He's even got a foul on, on the dancer as well, hasn't he? After he powers on him. No. 
that he wants to hit, obviously he's got my eagle on, hasn't he? But great tackle can cause problems sometimes. It's hard for me even to get the assist in now, isn't it? The assist, the assist cancel. Yeah, I like, I liked, I like taking him out of position to blitz him there. Unfortunately, he can greed this now that he's got an extra reroll. No, he's not gonna. Oh, I think I might have greeted that if I was him. Played it right this turn. It's not going to dodge through this way, can't it? One, two, three, uh, too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, six, and then leap in for the one dice. Dodge is used. So just put him in the way. And then the other one will try the two dodges. Could actually leap in this way, can you? Push him nearer to the. Uh... No, because I can't. I don't have the man. Right, he's getting three dice by him on me, but it's a three plus out, so I don't really want to move him. So he's going to do the. These two are doing the recovery. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it was, it was a ship push direction, really, wasn't it? That was the only bad thing. Yeah, I think he should have rolled it. Huh. Well. Well, at least he's not panning on with that guy, is he? Uh, and that's also that takes a guard away from protecting the ball. So let's just put him here. Yeah, the thing is, you yeah. <laughs> Yeah, at least he can't pile on. Yeah, exactly, Bernie Buffoon. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the mummies are uh, are uh, are out for a turn or two. Well, no, he could, he could, he could. No, they're not actually out of it, are they? Squirrel dude, he can, uh, he can get back into it. You can get them back into play, but I can strip him now at least. I've got I've got the strip. I can hit him with a strip now. So huge KO actually. There's he can't get it back on a sure hands guy. He might pile on, yeah, but it'd be fucking stupid, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hello, Pedro Jack. VIP Pedro Jack. Yeah, it's what I would do as well, Joe. 
<laughs> Rather personal question, isn't it, Pedro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he just moves. He just moves into a big cab cage. But you know, hopefully, I can uh, stop him moving forward with it. Me. Hey. Yeah, he's, he's always going to re-roll it now. But yes, not sure hands means that I've got much more of a chance of one dicing him. He's going to make a dodge with his ghoul, hasn't he? Oh, he can go on the other side. For now, but yeah, obviously I'm not going to hit him now, am I? Because that would be that would be crazy. Uh, just two, which is good. He's got tackle, so it's a bit scary run away from him. Actually, I could just knock fucking knock him down, couldn't I? At this point, use the blitz somewhere else. Um, maybe on him, and then block him down. Could knock him down. Maybe that's better. I don't know, I don't, I don't want to risk not getting him back into the play. So I think, just go there. Just got to hit his pommel with my e-blow, haven't I? Let's be honest. <laughs> I get to fuck. <laughs> yes. I'm not, I'm not gonna just not batter him there, am I? Oh man, three guys out. Three dice is more likely to turn over than this. Oh fuck. <laughs> BM dodge, as I, as I want to protect the dancer, don't I? Oops. Would have would have triple skulled just quietly. Gee. Both down and no balls. Ah. It was annoying, an annoying route because standing there would have would have given us a screen. Well, there's already a screen, but that would have been really good, wouldn't it? Yeah, had to take the boat down, yeah, to unroot himself. <laughs> so next turn, I go all men's. Yeah, yeah, the board down doesn't really matter. But yeah, push would have been a lot better, wouldn't it? Just the, the route was bad enough. The the route, like I couldn't, I could have pushed him to here, but it was, the route was the main thing. Because I think if the tree was here, it'd have been a lot better. <laughs> I'm gonna break tackle because I can. <laughs> Guard this side, is there now? 
because they're oh yeah they're, he's got a guard of left but it's a one in nine to fail and a GFI there's no guard that side uh oh <laughs> yes no no need a GFI here I don't think because I'd have to be dodging into a minus two so I think he's uh, making an unnecessary GFI and he gets he gets the deserved one on the GFI I think my double skulls wasn't deserved but I think his one on the GFI was, was deserved there and you could say the one on my dodge was deserved as well that led to the KO but that, it, there's just literally doesn't really have anything does it going on Oh, that's how he gets guard in. Yeah, so he gets guard in here if he if he makes this dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Huge dodge. Means I've got a roll of one in thirty six chance. Just stick him with three players, hope for the best. Double GFI with a tree. Don't even need a dodge. No, I do. Push him. To there and then put it base him with three three guys and then put everyone else in front. Now then you can just chain me out. Yeah, I think it'd be better probably standing me up and taking the uh, thing. Um, did I path an extra square? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, the dodge isn't... I thought the dodge wasn't necessary. So yeah, I can power him and then push him back a square. And then just all mans. Seems reasonable, doesn't it? I'd really love to GFI twice with a tree. But like that's 50-50 to get there. Doesn't really seem worth it, does it? He doesn't really have a chain on actually because I can just base this guy, can't I? I can bl blitz with this guy, but only one die. Oh no, two dice, oh fuck. So yeah, he just has to stand up the tree. to 2D but moving to there maybe just try a screen then gotta put 3 in and then screen with these 2 you can push him out to here which is a bit risky and push him out of here, which is also a bit risky. Annoying stand up fail, isn't it? I could blitz, but then what, how does he, Ian, how does he protect the ball as well, isn't it? Fucking 
farmers are crazy. <laughs> I think actually let me put more pressure on by dodging away rather than just rather than just being blocked. Oh, that tree root was horrible in the end. Oh, powers. Well, he had a tackle. Fair enough. Maybe I should have put another guard in to save him. Maybe this guard actually should have been here. But then the guard would have been easily hit by tackle. But then, hmm. Do I have all this? No. My drive next. Yeah, maybe this guard should have been here. Oh no, he's hitting from there, so no. No, it doesn't matter. I'm just talking shit. Just talking shit. Yarp. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't call it a bad apple either, but I'm 50-50 to get the ball back after he scores. I have 50-50 to get the guy back after he scores. And then, so I'm 75% to get him if he scores. And if he doesn't score, then first of all, I'm happy. And second of all, I can score earlier. Um, you know, I can control when I score more on my offense, can't I? So then I'll get him back for defense. So either way, I'm 75% of getting back for defense. That's my rationale. But yeah, it wouldn't have been a bad apple. Definitely not. No, it's just not going to move. Seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Getting a lot of pals, isn't he? Two dice on the ball, yeah. No, oh. someone, someone's telling him, someone's feeding him information because he was about to completely royally fuck that up, wasn't he? <laughs> so I can put the guard in here, and then one dice him to get guard on the ball. That seems, that seems fucking worth it, doesn't it? I could also put two players there and push him in there, but that doesn't really do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double GFI. Maybe they'll just go in here and then one dice in. Seeing as I'm going to do the leap anyway. Safe moves first. from this side, don't I? Nearly wasn't even a dodge in if he hadn't uh, moved him last second. Guess I follow, right? Four plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could just do it three plus, couldn't I? I've got a reroll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How safe is that? Pretty safe. Do I re do I do I re-roll the pickup now? If one re-roll left, I don't think I do. I've seen people 
stack the uh, pass. I don't know how to do it. Or maybe you can only do it if you start with it. So I would have failed a 3 plus pass, funnily enough. Would have been a 2 1. So it was worth going for the safer play for the 2 plus pass. Whew. Dangerous for the war dancer, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have followed with the war dancer. <laughs> Oh, good. But that's the thing, he gets blocked away, doesn't he? Oh, no, he did him first. Oh, shit, he doesn't get blocked away. Oh, he blocks him away. I would have taken another two dice from the other mummy if I was him. <laughs> well, let's not, let's not count our chickens too fast, Calcio. But yeah, getting guard in the cage was pretty important, so it was, it was a blessing and a curse that his guard caught the ball, wasn't it, really? Because uh, cause he really wanted that guard to be a cage corner sometimes. Push me nearer the ball, that's nice. The PS PS4 is 2-0 to PS to PC at the moment. So if either me or Bleeding Hippie win our match, then uh, then it's done. Yeah, it does turn out and Rod Lyman has been amazing, yeah. So he stopped himself making a dodge, which was good, wasn't it? But he's still in a in a world of hurt. Well, not a world of hurt, but in in a in a world of it's pretty tricky. <laughs> no, obviously PS4 aren't shy, and Xbox aren't shy, even, even though Xbox went 1-9, they weren't shy. <laughs> yeah, Fluffy Burrito, absolutely. <laughs> to be fair, I, I chose last, Fluffy Burrito, I chose last on the entire team of PC. I, I, I was like, other people can choose whatever they want, and I'll take what's left. And they all took, took what they wanted, and I'm like... I have to take I have to take Wood Elves then because we can't not have Wood Elves in on the team, can we? So I was actually forced to take Wood Elves. Isn't isn't that funny? <laughs> no choice but to take Woodies. <laughs> oh, he, he rolled he rolled like a like a pro though, didn't he? There. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh. Good. Good. I'm glad he I'm glad he failed the roll there. So this guy's still in still in scoring range. I don't like having to make a one in nine a one in thirty six dodge. But I could. You can only one dice a blodger. Um, and there, that makes the dodge harder, doesn't it? Uh, what about saving these guys? I can't really, can I? I can hit the tackle guy down. Is this a two dice for me? No. 
You could hit the tackler down on a wanna. And then dodge these two out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alternatively leap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to save his ass. And then they could dodge out on a one. He could dodge out on a one, he could dodge out on a three. Maybe that's the play. Alright, I'll, I'll think I'll re-roll this. No, I don't want to re-roll it. I won't re-roll it. Cunt. <laughs> that would have made his dodge a 4+, plus though, wouldn't it, instead of a 3+. plus. Hit the left zombie to escape. Yeah, I could have one diced. And then he could have, but then no, then there's tackle though, so I didn't want to. But he gets to hit and foul now, I guess. But three plus six plus. Maybe I should re-roll that. Yep, it could be. I've lost a lot of players, but then also it's huge that he's only got one KO roll because he's got his sure hands guy. Okay, that's not so important, but it's a ghoul, and he's got his tackle pump. So we've actually both got three KOs, the only difference is he's got two reserves. And I've got a Kaz, so... I am very much running out of players. Yeah, running out of players is definitely going to be a factor here. Three dice now the War Dancer is getting... Two of that double one. Well, not all, just a single one. Yeah, it gets piled. Might have to apple any Kaz here. Don't know about not scoring for the real, but me going 1 0 up, I would definitely trade for. <laughs> this is the huge thing, isn't it? This 3 plus 6 plus. Hasn't got a re roll. Pretty annoying that I rolled that 1. They've gone in KO, because that would have been a 4 plus dodge, wouldn't it then? <laughs> yeah, and I went safe moves first. If I hadn't gone safe moves first, I could have got made one of these guys a scoring threat. But yeah, he gets the push. But so it means I've got to do a GFI. So I'm glad I saved my reroll. That's why. That's why I didn't want to reroll that one because I thought if he gets a push here, I've got to reroll it. Uh, no, he rolled. He rolled five, but then I guess he couldn't have pushed me back. So yeah, maybe, maybe I could have done. Maybe I should have done. When I when I GFI'd to make the the dodge a four plus with pushing me back. Yeah, the GFI there. Could have I could have re-rolled it. Or I could have just not gone safe. I could I could have not hedged against the one in thirty six fail. If I hadn't played safe, then I could have actually caged a bit more, uh, or at all, or something. <laughs> Can't see it. Gets to foul a dancer though. Okay, well, I think I've got it. I think I've almost got to up all this. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't have the movement because I played safe. I didn't have the movement because I played safe. I had to be able to get this when I had a push. I'm pretty sure I just didn't have the movement to do it. Pretty sure I could have. I could have not played safe, and then I could have knocked him down. So turns out having Rog Lyman pretty good. Who knew? Yeah, I need at least one. Right, that looks like a team of wood elves. 
Thanks, Molly D. Oh, not the dancer, but the other two. And not his, not his pommer. Oh, glorious. <laughs> Her name again is Mr. Throw. Mr. Throw is the star of the fucking team, isn't he? Just quietly. He's the only one with three skills. He was the only one blessed with three skills in this. Pommer out is amazing. And uh, nine players isn't isn't too bad. So if I hadn't appled that, maybe, if I hadn't appled that, maybe he would have stayed out. Maybe he would have stayed oh, out God. instead of the Pommer, you know? Who knows? Oh, Glorious. He <laughs> sure has got back to his defense, yeah. Thanks, guys. <sighs> I can't believe I didn't double on it, even single on it. Turn him over, got the 1-0, so now... <laughs> <laughs> so now it's brilliant, isn't it? Because now I can just dick around and uh, score whenever I want, basically. Or not score or whatever. Makes it a lot easier. A lot easier. I can go for a score. Or not. Or whatever. Whatever's easiest. Does the tree just hit him and Well, because it might not be easy to, to do a two or three turn score, might it? Like your crooks, you know? If he gets a blitz or Whatever, undead can three turn easily enough, yeah. You know, I don't I don't roll dice. If I can score without rolling dice in you know, three turns or whatever, yeah, you just never know. I'd rather I'd rather try to play it safe. Um if I could. Do you want to hit? Do you want to just two dice? One dancer is out here. Yeah. I couldn't just make him strength eleven. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I should go for this one, shouldn't I? <laughs> well spotted, thanks. Yeah, it could be fine to score in two. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it would be bad to score in two, but. Here, couldn't I? I could do this block first. <laughs> Name myself Brian. <laughs> yeah, I just want to kind of make it. I don't know, you know, I, I, I just don't need to force a score, that's what I mean, you know. Yeah, defensive blitz, I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking, what can I do to, you know, this is kind of what I want. And now, perfect defense. How can perfect defense or, uh, or blitz fuck me over? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Too fearful to join BBT. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll join BBT sometime. It's the to reload again. He's, he's got two fan factor, so I assume he got the fame. Yeah, he got one fame.
Howdy, howdy. So... Yeah, I can actually just... I only need to get a little bit into his half to threaten a, threaten a score, don't I? Gonna, uh, I'm not going to block the tree, I'm just going to uh, stand next to him. <laughs> no burning the food. Um, yeah, I would, I, you know, if I'd been able to block with him, I would have done, but it turned out not being, not being able to, was that safe? Yeah. Like he he can score super easily, so he's got he's got he's got to defend against the two nil. Like it's really hard for him now, because. If I score at any time, he's almost lost. So he's kind of got to think about that. But then he's also got to think about, you know, everything else. So turning me over. He can't just defend. He's got to defend and try to turn me over. So... It's a bit tricky for him. <laughs> it is a classic. Yeah, it's not even an L screen at the moment, no, it's just a it's just literally a two plus, isn't it? I could blitz assist here, pow him, and then uh just two plus three two pluses to score. Yeah, only because I didn't activate it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess it's fair enough he's got block and I don't. but I'll hopefully push him back. He can base, so I'll get one, one bit more back. Make a blots. 
Didn't even need to blitz here, did I? Because I actually could have just uh, actually could have just dodged away from him. I was thinking he was the tackle one, but he wasn't. Balls. I don't hate this anyway. One in nine for him to fail. One in six for him to fail. One in nine for him to fail. One in 36 for him to fail. Splat. <laughs> <laughs> Get to <the> fuck. <laughs> yes. Um, you can smash him. No. Disappointing. Alright. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I don't like. I I guess I I guess I positioned wrongly here because I should have been protecting the uh, catcher, shouldn't I, rather than the other way around. But. <laughs> So he's got he's got ten on the pitch. I've got nine on the pitch. But um, going bad. Uh, he's still got tackle, is he? He's still getting a knockdown a turn. Gets the cards. Yep, doesn't make it free dice. Gets the cards anyway. Yeah, absolutely for real. It really was. It was the same in uh it was funnily enough the same in the other the other one that I did, uh the one on Fumble the last time I, we did the teams on Fumble, I was just like, I'll choose whatever's left. And uh nobody wanted Wood Elves. So I was like, Well I'll have to be Wood Elves then, eh? Yeah, I actually thought I was blitzing the tackler last turn. I only pushed him, but still. Yeah, I could definitely still Still lose. I mean, if it's a draw, then I'll probably lose in overtime just due to the attrition that I'm taking. But I really like that. <laughs> it is hard for him to defend the whole field still, really, realistically. <laughs> yeah, maybe it would have been, but then he's got two guys there anyway, hasn't he? Now he's got. Wouldn't really have been that much over, over to me, I don't think. That unfortunately is a very nasty knockdown, isn't it? Oh my god. I, do you know what I thought about not, not following? Because I didn't have block. I didn't have dodge. But then, so he's just randomly rolled good there, hasn't he? That is disappointing. A block here and give it to the dancer. In fact, the dancer could just blitz to make it safer. And I could cage one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. Cage over here. Yeah, I just can't really. I can't even really get the blitz on the catcher, can I? I mean, I, maybe I could. But, uh. No, I'd, I'd really love to block him. But then who would I even blitz? Nobody, so. I think blitzing him is the best.
One, two. He's gone that way. He's gone this way. He's gone the other way. So this should be safe. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I think I've got to go here, haven't I? That's it. Simple as. Do I just know? I can't go there. I've got to go there. GFI there. Do that at the end, so I might not have to GFI it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fucking double one day. Ah. That was a shit turn, wasn't it, really? That was really unlucky. That was really unlucky. I did roll a double one at the wrong time, really. a bad time because I just couldn't do safe moves like I couldn't I could have moved this guy to like I couldn't move him to there I couldn't he doesn't do anything I had to get him to there if I hadn't used the reroll on the dodge out I could have moved this guy to here and moved him to there without rolling a dodge which would have been ideal got wrestle and he's got sure hands yeah Yeah, the tree's taking up two people, isn't he? Yeah. I wanted, I really wanted like double GFI with him last turn. I wanted, I wanted to just go one, two, three, four, and then being an unbelievable spot. But I would have had to do that last, and he would have made me take more dodges. There was really bad just using reroll, using dodge there. It, that was the thing. If I hadn't used dodge there, then um, I would have been able to make the second dodge and gone to there and then the guard could have gone there without making any other dodge but then now we're still fit we're the ball in there gets it pretty safe because I don't no no I do have tackle yeah. I can hit him with tackle but I've just got no players left now have I shit it's all gone tits up it was looking so good until he cast it was only two Kaz as well that he made. It wasn't that crazy. But two Kaz on that turn made everything suddenly look a lot... a lot harder. Yeah, funnily enough, the killing the mummy that I uh, 
<laughs> I celebrated. It's actually got harder since then. Yeah. Pretty daft. Are you going to draw to a console scrub? L U L Jim Potato 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 Thanks uh thanks Tony but no probably lose actually because there's overtime so that's fun isn't it? It's shit they've only got one catcher as well, because that's the that's the guard that would have been the scoring threat, isn't it? Right, do I do a safe move? I guess I should have done this first. There's my obligatory safe move, second first. Six, seven, double GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double GFI is possible. That seems a good move to make, though, doesn't it? Oh, just what I'd only just one in nine. I'd rather one in thirty six. I could have gone this way, couldn't I? Not that it matters. I do want to tag his wrestle. Alright. Good. Easy. Easy. Fucking hours. Oh man, Thomas stays out. <laughs> Looked out, yeah, it's funny isn't it. I failed the double one, which was which was unlucky to fail the double one, wasn't it? Let's be honest. But then uh but then obviously got lucky with, with those dodges. <laughs> Easy as you are. Eight guys. He does have sure hands, but yeah. <laughs> I've ended the trip by yeah. Thank you, everybody. Seven, ten. He's still, got, he's still got 11. But yeah, down a mummy and a pommer is huge, isn't it? But then I guess I'm actually literally down players. Yeah, fa failed the easy rolls to kind of make it safe, and then made the kind of hard rolls to make it make it hard. Um, so yeah, he's got five turns to score two. And maybe I should just go full protect mode. I've used the leader reroll, so this this is irrelevant now. He's just a bludge guy, so I don't have to protect him anymore. I could go here to protect the tree a little bit.
Uh, yeah, possible, right? Yeah, it's possible. It's it's definitely possible. I'm not I'm not counting their chickens before they've hatched, but as long as I don't suffer m more attrition, I should be able to protect the ball, shouldn't I? Um, even if he scores in two here, um, I should be able to protect the ball to stop them turning me over and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's two 0 at the moment. Hopefully, after this, it'll be three. And uh, and then yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Be three 0 up. Hippies, hippies game is a bit like this. It's uh, it's like the the fucking chalk bash team against the uh, <laughs> mummy pork curry. Mole has this, uh, Hippie has the scary bash team, but then obviously he might just, he might, yeah, World Sitar's victory over Calcium's internet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, like, just saying it as a win, like, if it was the Champs Ladder playoffs, it would be a win for World Sitar. But obviously that's an extremely unsatisfactory result. I also think that a replay is about as unsatisfactory. So, um, you know, the, the, we, we have the technology to recreate it. The, the, it. It's not even the fact that it was streamed, because you can just literally load up the replay and see exactly where people was, take screenshots. So they could, they could pick it up from the turn 14 um, where it was. It would just be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, oh. Which I think would be the best. Yeah, he's, he's scared of a replay. Of course he is. Of course World Sitar's scared of a replay. A replay greatly, hugely favours Calcium. Um, <laughs> there's, no, there's no doubt about that, is there? You know, Anyone who, who knows Blood Bowl knows that a replay, like Calcium, was hugely favoured in that game. And the fact that World Sitar was about to make it 1-1 after not really getting out bashed was, was about as good as it could have possibly have been for him. So, um, so yeah, so it does suck for, to, to win by DC. No, nobody wants World Sitar to win by DC. Of course not, nobody wants that. Um, no, I'm sure it wasn't a guaranteed score. I'm not saying it was, but still being one nil down whilst out bashing Calcium is literally the best the best it could have been for, for, for World Sitar, pretty much. I mean, obviously, barring crazy, insane dice. Um, this was the best he was going to do nine times out of ten, one in ten chance or whatever what he's done. So, you know, I don't know. This is, this. But hopefully, hopefully, I just win this game and it's 3-0 and then it doesn't matter if it's, a, it's, if it's a slightly less satisfactory replay or, you know, DC loss or uh, however, whatever it would be. Um... Or just just play straight overtime, but yeah, I think it would be quite easy to replicate the situation at turn fourteen. I don't think it would be hard really. Just take screenshots of the uh, of the situation on either team, uh, keep the players out. But a lot of leagues do full replays of games, and I think it's horrible. I mean, I hate replays because you know, if if one team has done what World Sitar managed to do, you know, he's put he's put a lot of you know, mental effort into that game to, to, you know, even if it was a lot of luck that he survived, you know, it takes a lot of mental fortitude to just not give up against Calcium's team and stuff, you know, so he, he invested all that and then to just have that erased is crap, isn't it? Yeah, just don't move it. Yeah, but it's... Stuns might be a bit problematic, yeah. Yeah, with the tackle zones and stuff. The stuns could be problematic, but um, don't know what the situation was. Depends. Depends what the actual situation was when the DC happened. You might have to just not have him stunned. Oh, you move the piece thereafter, yeah. Yeah, yeah it depends. It just depends. We'd have to look at it. And, uh, Yeah, loads of leagues just replay, but I, I hate that. I hate I hate the way the, the way leagues just replay like that. Right, so he's not scoring in two anyway. That's that's for damn sure. 
I mean, that was why I didn't try anything with the Blitz. Obviously, it was about it was it was possibly going to be a touchback as well, but uh, you know, there was no need to go crazy there, was there? Could hit the could hit the piling on guy. He could block him, then he could block him. And then I could blitz him, then I could block him, then I could block him. I could knock everybody on his team down now, except the panning on guy. Why is it only one guy? Oh, he's hitting the player. Dirty dingo. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, jelly deals. Yeah, exactly, in Pretty Augustus. It was turn 14. It, you know, I, I don't think there's any really... I think the way the way the the fair way to do it is to pick it up where where it left off. It's just that it's a bit of a ball ache, isn't it? That's all. Um, I could just dodge away. No, that's too far. I could put an assist in, block him, and blitz him. That might be the play, might it? Ooh, put this assist in. That's a bit, that's a nice way of putting assist in, isn't it? Actually. Well, you could. That that was another option for me, Nick. I would say, mate, call it 1-1 and then do overtime. But then Calcium loses his LOS hits with Clawpon, which which could easily remove three Orcs. So it's... Um, but yeah, that was that was a, a possible solution that I uh, that I said. But yeah, that's that's it. At the end of the day, if I win, it just doesn't matter. And, and World Sitar and Calcium can do whatever is best for World Sitar and Calcium. You know, they can just decide what those two guys want to do with their time. I think that's the best way of doing it. No? Um, I'll do a one dice there and then, then the two in. But do this two first. Yeah. Well it's a bit of a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a pain to um to recreate it and all. Bit of a pain, isn't it? Right, one dice, let's fucking go. I've had I've had some good dice. To be fair, although I although I rolled some bad dice, I've also had some fucking good dice in this game. I mean, you know, the fucking Kaz on the mummy, the KO on him who stayed out. I've had, I have had some really good dice. But that double one really hurt. Yeah, exactly, Valenic. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, exactly, Aurelensis. I agree with Aurelensis, yeah. Yeah, he didn't learn from the last one, yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's clear that, you know, Calcium's the big favourite, isn't he, on the balance of probabilities. Um, yeah, sure, but it's up to him. It's, uh, I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to win this game. And it's just then it's just whatever is pleases World Sitar and Calcium the most. But I think these are the possible... The possible outcomes are a loss for Calcium because his internet went out. That that is an option, right? Obviously, Calcium very unsatisfactory for Calcium. Um, probably is good for World Sitar because he doesn't have to piss about in a in a game that's decided anymore. Um, so that, that that's a thing. <laughs> Drake, hello by the way. Yeah, I don't know where Spartaco is. I saw that and just didn't respond. That 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 is an option. Another option is, the other extreme is, a full replay, which really favours Calcium. Um, obviously, World Zidar is really not happy about that, seeing as he's put an hour and a half of his life in, or whatever, into, get, into getting to a very favourable position at turn 14. So that one really pleases Calcium, really displeases World Zidar, probably. Um, then... And takes the most effort, I guess, to play a full game, right? But then maybe it's better. You know, it, it, it's it's all it's all opinions as to what's better. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna 
make any judgment on how, how how on that on that front. Another thing is, another option is they recreate it exactly as it was, um, which is obviously the absolute fairest way. Um, a little bit of a pain in the ass depending on what the board position is regarding stuns and and etc. Knockdowns, um, and then the other option would be the fourth option would be uh, just pick it up in overtime. Roll, assume World Sitar scores, keep the players out who were out, assume World Sitar scores, and there's no more attrition on either side, and. Uh, and then play, just play the overtime. So the, the, I think there's four, there's four possible, four possibilities, and all of which have pros and cons, f either for entertainment or for the the people involved. So I just think it's, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, there's no. I shouldn't have done this first. Actually, I should have done the blitz with a mighty blow first, shouldn't I? Um, I did an unsafe move first. Naughty boy. Yeah, I'd, I'd say play overtime. I'd say I, I suggested just playing overtime as a possibility. That's definitely that definitely is a possibility, isn't it? Okay, oh. <laughs> not so hidden, mighty blow. This is really looking like a win now, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's an option as well. Yeah, there's five options as well. Yes, Jelly will don't play it at all. So just call it a draw. Yep. Yep, that's a good point, Jelly. Yeah, but it, it it could be a team decision not pure up to sit out, but then it's his time, isn't it? And it's calcium's time as well. So it's <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is that the hilarious thing is at Large Thud, he's just like, I want to use Orcs, and like, we were like, okay. Um, yeah, oh yeah, that's another one, yeah, we could call it a draw or a no contest or whatever, yeah. That's a, that's a, a draw or a no, a draw is effectively a no contest, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but there was no, there was, you know, look, at the end of the day, this is, if this is, if this is, uh, yeah, we, we, we did try to talk him away from Orcs, but he likes Orcs and he wanted to use Orcs. And not only did he pick Orcs, he got chosen in both games. Yeah, on another day, he could have got, like, Skaven twice and just mullered them both games. So it wasn't necessarily a bad choice. Um, thanks, Bernie. <laughs> Yeah, no, kind of is fine. Yeah, so it's it, you know it's, it depends. We, what all we need to do is just keep as many people as happy as possible, don't we? The main ones being calcium and words that have seen as they're the ones who'd have to play the fucking game. It doesn't matter if the other eight people want to replay. If calcium and words that are don't, then that's it. Yeah, it's an interesting offense, isn't it? I mean, he's just, I guess he's just he's just given up, and that's it. Losing two nil is fine. This is a losing two nil offense, not a losing two one. <laughs> nah, I just think he's probably just done, isn't he? It's like fuck, I lost. I mean, the kick was horrific. The kick was horrific for him, but I, yeah, he yeah, clearly just gave up. Yeah. Like now, if I disconnected here, um, I think me giving me the loss would be, you know, I would not be happy with taking the loss if I disconnected. So. I, I, you know, obviously you can't, well, you can, because it's an option, because it's what would happen in Champs Ladder. You could give Calcium the loss cause for, dis for conceding against World Sitar, but obviously I'd be furious if uh, if I got a loss in, in this spot. But, uh, and also a replay, I, I, I wouldn't really want to, wouldn't want to replay either, you know, so it's, uh, it's, it is what it is. 
I've got to get his Knorring threat, see. I've got to take out the score on the threat. That was, uh, that was why I had this, this guy. Uh, hello, Hippie. How it happened was... Um, I, I rolled some dice, and some of them were good. And uh, some were bad, but mostly they were good. <laughs> I would say, I would say that sums up this game. I did roll a double. I rolled one double one, which which let him get two dice on the ball on my drive, which was really you know a horrible time to roll a double one. But apart from that, my mighty blows being really good, and he didn't cage very well on offense. I I, I guess you'd you've got to say he didn't cage very well on offense. Um, and that was it. Yeah, I did only roll a few ones. They were they were clustered in one case, which was really annoying. But um Yeah, that's true. That's true, Cat Villain, that's true. But you know, there was no president set before the tournament. That was well not a president, there was no rule set before the tournament. So I don't think this has to be president. Whatever happens between Calcium and World Sitar doesn't have to be president president for future tournaments, you know, but Still, yeah, my leaps were also really good. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel them. Yeah, yeah good analysis, isn't it? I rolled some dice, and some were good, and some were bad. So you know, so I'm the same from both, from both points of view. I, I'm with here, isn't it? Calcium was winning one nil, but also World Sitar had basically had got him as good as he was going to get him. Really, so. There might be, there might be future things, man. There, I think a league would be good, like a league kind of format would be really good, where you had everybody played everybody and stuff like this. Well, they kind of have. The consoles have just come and please. <laughs> it's over for them. I mean, it would be really good if if Hippy wins as well, wouldn't he? And then we win nine nil, and then whatever happens with Sitar and Calcium, uh, that would be that would be amazing, wouldn't it? I mean, I think recreating or going overtime. Or the, I'd say the number one best result would be pick up where they left off with perfect recreation would be the perfect. And that would be number one for me. Number two would be just play over time. Number three would be replay. And number four would be give Calcium the loss. Um, oh, maybe, maybe, no, actually, number four would be cancel it. Maybe it's number... Maybe but three or four would be cancel it or replay it, and then the, obviously the least would least appealing would be. Uh, he he cast all three hobgoblins, Vlaenic. So or maybe it's not all three. He cast three hobgoblins, and he had two black orcs cast. So you know, can the ghoul score next turn? He can. He can. But that could change. Yeah, I thought it was bad. They they, they should have absolutely they should have absolutely uh, the organizers, the admins should have totally uh had something in place for it, I agree. Balls. Oh, it's turn sixteen. Oh shit! I thought it was turn fifteen. I was gonna, I was gonna score next turn. Oh well. Bollocks.
<laughs> that was totally right. I was trying to, uh, I was trying to win 3-0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jolly oh yeah. Well, yeah, heavy, but that's that's part of it, isn't it? That's better than that's better than only losing because of dice or something. Um, I would say I media messed up in this play as this game as well. Yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? Unless he scores two touchdowns this turn, <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Yeah, exactly, Stradik. It was looking horrific at one point. For 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 half a turn, well, no, for a full turn. For the full and dead turn, it was looking horrific. Um, but it's funny, isn't it? The one time I rolled a double one, it looked to have lost me the game, which is crazy, because there were times where I could have failed in other turns and it wouldn't have been so bad. Pretty good decoys. <laughs> uh, do you reckon Fluffy Brew? No, I think you mostly win because. Yeah, maybe it's because you force them to roll something bad. But I think a lot of it is. I don't know. It's an interesting question. Do you do you win because you play well, or do you? Because really, I think I think playing well is more than just making them roll as much as possible. Yeah, the guard catches were really good. Yeah, even though one got cast. Um, so yeah, thirty-six to forty. Not even that. Not even that much out blocked. And six removals versus five. Though his were more permanent. Um, yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I, did, I did avoid the shame of losing, yeah.